So while trying to practice and get better on the blunderbuss, I've been also looking for a way that I can change up the build slightly to um, not make it be wearing the exact same equipment as my other two builds. Um, in my previous blunderbuss video, I mentioned how this weapon kind of changes up how I play the rapier um, slightly. And I wanted to see if there was some aspect of the equipment that I'm wearing that I could try and um, change. Now, the problem with a lot of the perks in this game currently is pretty much if it's not flat damage or damage reduction, um, it's pretty much useless. And while I do still think a lot of different perks in this game um, need a buff, I have found ways around uh, making some things work. Uh, for example, with dots, traditionally in a lot of MMOs, um, you can make a full out dot build where damage over time is your primary source of damage. But... That's not really the case in this game. Um, the way that I kind of tried to approach it was um, one, when I'm using my fire staff, the dots kind of function as a um, fortify buff for me. So pretty much anytime I'm on my fire staff bar and somebody is burning, I'm getting fortify. Um, but the main thing that I tried to do uh, with the dots on my fire staff build is sort of just a thing to kind of apply pressure and kind of hinder regeneration um there's food that you can do there's a just base regeneration that all characters have even when they're in combat and then there's uh regen portions now unless you're running like a dot uh like a spear or a bow build you're probably not going to have enough dots to um out damage the regen potion but everything else outside of that um that's kind of how i like to use dots and I tried to take that same approach when it came to looking at other perks, um, that being life stealing. Now, you can only really get two perks on your, um, two actual life stealing perks on your gear. And then anything else past that would have to be an ability itself that is um, going to be healing you. Now, you can only get two. Each perk itself is 5%. Um, so if you do the math really quick, on the rapier, we're only hitting around one to three K. Um, so you're not really gonna be healing that much. Uh, but the thing about the rapier is it has some very quick attacks and most of the time I'm fighting uh, outnumbered. So if you can hit multiple people with certain attacks such as flesh or um, lighter heavy attacks, um, you can end up healing more. But like I said, I, I had to take a different approach in terms of what the ability did for me and um, the build itself with the Bundabus is more of a skirmisher where I can kind of stay on my rapier and kind of scrap with people a little bit longer than I could in my other two builds because of those defensive passives. And I feel the two lifestyle perks have kind of played into that um, a little bit more. And it's actually been really, really fun. Now, if you're paying attention to my actual health bar, you're not going to really see me getting healed for drastic amounts. Um, by attacking people the main thing it's doing is um almost acting as a form of um damage reduction so basically when i'm trading with people if i'm fighting like let's say a spear or even a great axe or hammer player in the time that it takes them to hit me once i can get two to three attacks in on them and each time i'm life stealing that's slightly negating the amount of damage they just did to me with that previous attack um, so I have been actually having quite a bit of fun with this perk, to be honest. Um, we're going to take a look at two clips today, um, that were really, really fun to fight in, but, um, I should have definitely died multiple times and it was definitely the life stealing perk that kept me just barely, um, alive enough to be able to finish some of these kills. But, uh, yeah, with that being said, I do still hope that they eventually kind of take a look at a lot of the perks that are just not really being utilized in both pvp and pve because there is even with the current uh perk system quite a few different types of builds that you could make um but just none of them are really viable because the values of the perks themselves don't give you enough um to make the decision to get these perks valuable so um yeah let's jump into some of that pvp commentary So 
So first off, we have a little 2v1 all the way out by the beach in an OPR here. And again, the thing you don't want to be paying attention to is my actual health bar, but more so when I'm taking damage, how I'm trying to trade uh, to get in attacks to try and negate some of the damage that I'm taking. But we do have a fight against a Great Axe player and a Mage. So we have two really, really hard CCs to watch out for, which is going to make it really hard to finish off either player. Um, and you see here, his buddy does end up showing up. We take a couple of attacks from him and uh, a nasty fireball. So right off uh, at the beginning of this fight, we're on the back foot. We do get our last chance to proc there. So we do um, negate a lot of the damage from that flamethrower. And we get a nice shrapnel blast into the mage there as they're chasing onto me. But um, we are still on the back foot because our health is pretty low. I do a good job of avoiding the fireball, but we still are taking quite a bit of damage. You see, as I'm getting hit by that flamethrower there, I do a, a really, really good job of getting in a couple of light attacks to not only negate some of the damage with some of that life stealing, but force him into that entomb um, to put him on the back foot. You see, I popped my net shot a little bit too early there as we get caught in the gravel. Um, so it was really, really hard for me to find an opening here. And right after the gravel, we get caught in the ice shower. So like I said, just two really, really hard CCs, which is making it um, quite difficult to actually lock down uh, the squishy opponent here. So the thing that I really have to do is play aggressive, but not um, so aggressive that I get caught. Um, but we need to force out that ice shower from that mage to be able to take him out. Um, so I try to go in and get a couple of pokes. You see, we get the gravel and the ice shower there without getting caught in either. So I, I pretty much have free reign to go as aggressive as I want here now. We get a nice little poke out of the evade there into the claw shot. Um, just like I said, staying super aggressive and trying to finish out this kill before his uh, ice shower can come back up. We get a really, really nice heavy attack right out of the entomb there, keeping him um, as low health as possible. Doing also a good job of avoiding most of these great ass attacks from uh, his buddy here. I run out of stamina. We do get caught in a gravel there, but we manage to finish off the kill uh, with the shrapnel blast and escape the gravel with the net shot. And then we're left to a 1v1 here with the hatchet player. And you're going to see if you are actually able to um, get in attacks while avoiding damage as we are here, you will notice a noticeable amount of health um, being re regained back from those two life steal perks. But um, now that we're left to the, just the melee in a 1v1 here, um, being on the rapier as, a, as comfortable as I am, we do a really, really, really good job here of avoiding most of his damage while getting that hatchet proc and uh, getting a pretty dope finish off on the 2v1 here where we got saved multiple times with that uh that lifestyle perk and then next up we have two 1v1s kind of <laughs> that end up being very very long um one of them ends up taking us pretty much all the way from sun to star but we have another mage um by the sun point here we take a pretty nasty fireball to start it out um but we get a little bit of regen going we slide in there for an evade lead attack and just uh, avoid that void scream. And he does chase us, but we land the claw shot on him around the corner into the shrapnel shot. So we put a ton of pressure into this player here. Onto the back foot, we land the light attack, uh, timing that parry into the heavy attacks. We have him very, very, very low, um, but he does do a good job of escaping and timing his dodges to avoid um, being taken out here. But we land the next claw shot again into the shrapnel shot. He manages to survive even after the light attack on pretty much one health right now. I don't know how he's not dead. Um, but we get to a second secondary player onto us. We land the parry. Somehow still dodging all of our attacks. And uh, I'm not letting this player go out. We barely, barely, barely slide and get the evade into the light attack. And we're left to the back foot. Do a couple of direction changes to avoid all of these players on the point attacking us here. Dodge the mage and then we're left to the second 1v1. But we are still taking musket shots from the top of the base there. So... We're just going to go ahead and move around the wall here just to line of sight ourselves from the Musketer. And then we're left to our second 1v1 with the Mage again. Um, but the thing about the last thing part that I really, really like is that it allows me to stay aggressive. You, so you see, after that Flame Dash, uh, we follow up with the Flush to stay up on him. Um, landing attacks with both our Bundleblust and my uh, Rapier just to keep ourselves topped up. But we do get caught into the Ice Storm and Ice Shower right there. Um, don't really take too much damage. We evade and get a nice little parry off. Um, but again, like I said, just keeping the pressure up, doing a pretty good job of avoiding that pillar and um, landing a couple of pellets from the blunder bust there. But um, pretty much every single time his ice storm or ice shower comes up, uh, he throws it down. So 
It is getting a little bit difficult to uh, finish a kill here, but we do get a nice little light attack chain there um, into the evade after the roll. Even land the Bunderbuster landing pretty much everything right now, but we do end up rolling into an ice shower and end up, uh, he does get a little bit of room to breathe. And then the fight kind of takes us um, onto the other side of Star. Um, but the thing that I'm really liking about uh, adding life stealing to this setup is, as you're seeing, not only in outnumber situations when it would kind of benefit the most um, to minimize the amount of damage you're taking and stay alive, even in uh, a 1v1 like this, it'll allow me to pretty much stay hyper aggressive um, and stick onto my target. But uh, we get back to the uh, pretty much behind star here and we're left to the second part of our little 1v1 here. And we managed to get the uh, ice shower and the ice storm out there. And this is kind of the, uh, the little dance that you get into with mages. Um, it becomes more of a, um, a fight of getting their um, ice shower out because pretty much if you can guarantee that the ice shower is on cooldown that's your only time really to uh, be able to put in pressure so you see he's really really trying to just avoid damage from me and um, stay on the run until that comes back up and you see he does throw it down there but we get really really lucky um, the way it gets placed we don't get caught so I'm able to just pretty much stay aggressive here and stay right on him um, we are taking quite a bit of damage even after that fireball there, but our last chance perk does pop and uh, we get uh, pretty much all that damage that we were getting taken from uh, negated because we're able to um, shoot him during that. But again, each time that I uh, know that his ice shower is on cooldown, I'm going to see if I can um, land my combos in during that time. Unfortunately though, after that claw shot, we do get caught. Um, I do manage to escape it though with my net shot and then we get a parry so we avoid most of the damage there but we do catch a fireball right after that. Unfortunately a secondary player does show up. We catch a nasty nasty pillar. Um, we do have our health potion up though so we are able to top ourselves back up but unfortunately the fight gets ruined from the secondary player but um, GG's to the, uh, the second mage there to all the players. Um, really really fun fights. And um, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying uh, life stealing with this build. Um, I will have a build video out pretty soon for the Bunderbuss, um, but please let me know what you guys thought of the video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.